Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about navigation in Jetpack Compose, so let's jump right in and get started. Let's open up Android Studio and create a new project, and we'll do an empty Compose activity, and we'll click Next. And we will call this Basic Compose Navigation. There we go. And right now we're going to choose Android 14 to run on, even though it looks like a lot of users aren't there yet with their personal devices. We're just going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and plan for the future there. All right, and now that our Gradle project is done building, we are ready to go ahead and start adding in dependencies. Android by default doesn't give you any navigation libraries, and so we're going to go ahead and add those in. So let's go over to our libs.version.toml file, and we're going to add two dependencies here. The first one will be uh, Android X Navigation Compose. That's exactly correct. And then uh, the Compose version here that we, the navigation version here that we want to use, uh, is going to be Navigation Compose. The latest version as of this recording is 2.8.9. 2.8.9 is the latest stable version, and we will use that version ref here. And then the other one we want to go ahead and add is <clears throat> uh, Kotlin X serialization. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. We want the Kotlin X serialization JSON. Now, the latest version. Uh, of that one, we will add is 1.8.1. There we go. And then we will use that down here. Great. And now one last step in this file. Uh, we need to go ahead and add this Kotlin, serializ Kotlin X serialization plugin to our project so that uh, it, the project itself knows what to do. So let's call this Kotlin serialization. That's exactly what we need. All right, now we're not quite ready to sync the Gradle file yet. We need to go back to our apps build.gradle file and we need to add the plugin as alias libs plugins Kotlin serialization. Okay. And then we need to add the dependencies down here that we just added to our other TOML file. And those dependencies are implementation for libs, Android X, compose, oops, sorry, not compose, Android X, navigation, dot compose. And our next one is for Kotlin serialization. So we want Kotlin X serialization JSON. Great. All right. With those added to our project, we are ready to sync our build file. And what that does is that pulls it down um, from the Maven repository uh, and allows us to have access to these in our project. Now, if you're not familiar with where to get these version numbers uh, for the latest stable version, you can go to, you can Google the repository that you're trying to find, and you can look through here, see 2.9 is still in beta and alpha, uh, but 2.8 is a stable release. So that's what we're going to use that one for. And then the Kotlin serialization JSON, 1.8.1 is again the latest release. All right, and now we are ready to sync our Gradle file. All right, now that that is done, uh, we're going to be using the, we're going to be using the new version of uh, Kotlin navigation that allows us to use type safe navigation. Now this is still pretty new, so a lot of projects may not use this, but this is the way that uh, things will be moving more towards in the future. So while we're getting you ready for what's coming in the future, you can also use this in your projects today. So let's go back to our main app file here, and we will create a new file inside of our package that is a Kotlin class, and we will call this app routes. 
Now we don't need that class, we just needed the file. All right, so we're going to create an object that is a starting route, or starting view route, sorry. And we're going to let this conform, uh, use the serializable annotation that we just imported. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to create another one uh, that's pretty close for the second route, but we want this one to be a data class and we um, and we want this to have a value of text, which is an optional string. Now what this does is this allows us to pass in an optional string to our route. So you don't have to go back and tell Android that the navigation is expecting a piece of text in the query params that is an optional type of string, so it's nullable. We don't have to do that anymore. Uh, that's one of the niceties with this new serialization uh, matching up with the Compose library. You'll see that here in just a second. Let's go ahead and build our first view. So let's come back in and create a new Kotlin class. And we will call this starting view, because this is the view that we're going to start on. And this is a composable. And so we'll say fun starting view. And inside this starting view, um, we're just going to pass in a nav controller. It is a type nav controller. There we go. Now this starting view is just going to have a very basic layout so that we can get familiar with um, how navigation in Kotlin actually works. So before we get started building out our view, there is one piece of state that we want to add. So let's go ahead and let's say there is a text element that we want to remember, and it is a mutable state of an empty string. Perfect. All right, now we're ready to start building out our view. So let's start by letting the user know that this is our starting view. And then we'll have an outline text field. Nope. Text field that allows the user uh, to pass in. Very close. So there we go. And we don't need this text, but that will allow the user uh, to type in a value, and this is the value that we will pass on to our secondary screen that we'll build here in just a second. So let's actually get the logic added here on our first screen to move on to our second screen. Now this is actually exactly what we're looking for. Um, Jim and I did a pretty good job predicting that route there. So let's go ahead and import the Material 3 version of our button. Great, okay, and now our first view is done. So let's go ahead and let's create our second view. So let's go back to our package, tell it that we want a new Kotlin file, and call this one second view. Great. We will create a composable, and this composable will be called second view. And this takes our optional text value. Perfect. Now this one will be a lot more simple. We'll create a column, and inside that column we'll say, yep, that's exactly right. And then we want to import the Material 3 version of those texts. Great. All right, so what this will do is when we come back over here, so once we click on this button, our second view will be added to our nav controller. Uh, and we will pass in the text value so that you can see it on that second view. And that's how we'll get that value, that piece of state from one screen to the next. So let's go ahead and connect that up. Let's go back to our main activity view. And we don't need any of the greeting stuff for now, so we can take that out of our project. Great, there we go. All right, so now let's um, instantiate our nav controller up here. It is the remember nav controller. And then we want to display a nav host. 
and inside our nav host we want our nav controller uh, but our start destination is going to be our starting view route and then we will go ahead and start building out that view to move from one view to the next in Jetpack Compose we just need to use this nav host and tell it that we have a composable and our first view takes the starting view route and inside of there we just say that we have a starting view and it's as simple as that to get our first view on the screen and for our second view we'll do something very similar except for we will uh, get the arguments out of the nav controller and so we'll say it dot to route and the route type that we're going to get is our second view route right and it's not it dot text here um, args so we will say args dot text and that will give us the text argument that we have embedded into our second view route and pass that as the parameter to our second view and with that we are ready to try it out so let's give it a shot let's run the app okay now that we've got the app running we will type in a value here of subscribe and we will pass that value to our second view and then we have pulled the subscribe text from the nav controller and are now displaying it in our second view and just like that we we have passed data from one view into another and navigated to our second screen using Jetpack Compose and with that please like subscribe and share with friends and if you leave a comment just be nice about it that's all I ask thanks have a great day bye